Welcome to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of October 24th, 2021, Part 2. This week's theme is Halloween. Pig the Monster, written and illustrated by Aaron Blabby. No trick-or-treaters, please don't knock. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, on Halloween night he'd get carried away. Hungrily drooling, he'd lurch through the streets, a monstrous rampage for treats, 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 treats! Treats, he would bellow. It's Frankenstein's pup. He'd grab a whole basket and scoop it all up. Treats, he would drool, a zombified bumpkin, and if you resisted, he'd upturn your pumpkin. Yes, if you were stingy, well, Pig would be miffed, and then he'd be vengeful, and vengeance was swift. He'd egg your front door, an egg-hurling dragon, then set about fixing your little red wagon. If Pig felt shortchanged and his hopes had been dented, it filled him with feelings that had to be vented. Terrible tricks would be briskly invented. Shenanigans like this could not be prevented. He ruined the evenings of those he tormented. The scale of his payback was unprecedented. He got satisfaction. He never relented. Your treats will be mine, he cried, wholly demented. Wild in his triumph, the mummy unhinged. He laid out his plunder and frantically binged. Tearing through candy, a gluttonous goblin, he just didn't think about what he was gobbling. Dogs can't eat chocolate, cried someone quite clever. Dogs choke on chocolate. He's no fool, that Trevor. Pig spluttered foully, aw oh, wiener, don't nag, then breathed in that chocolate and started to gag. Quick thinking Trevor, that wonderful hound, he snatched up Pig's ankles and swung him around. With a whoosh and a whirl, he windmilled that lug, a fast spinning dachshund, a chocolate filled pug, and soon enough all that sugary gloop was loosened up nicely, a warm chocolate soup. Watch out, cried Trev, but the crowd was dumbstruck as gallons of Halloween goo came Blah, unstuck. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's Halloween harvest, a modest buffet. He respects people's homes and he shares out his booty. His generous spirit, a real thing of beauty. He really is nicer and much kinder, too. An old dog learned new tricks? Well, who'd have thought? Boo! The end. We're going to make Frankenstein's monster bag. So you get your craft to go kit. Um, inside you'll find... A green paper bag. It's folded pretty small, so unfold that. Um, you'll find parts for the face. Um, this here is hair. This will be the mouth. These are the eyes. The nose. These are little bolts for the side, how Frankenstein has them on the side, or Frankenstein's monster, I should say. And then we have teeth. So there's a few teeth in here. You can use as many as you want. Um, I even put in these longer rectangles so that if you want to make eyebrows, you can make eyebrows. And then after that, in your kit, you will find, sorry, one more tooth, a 
magazine or pamphlet or something. Um, these were magazines that we were going to throw away. So we're going to use those as our, um, instead of newspaper to stuff our bag full. And then on your own, you'll need crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever, um, a glue stick. And I'm going to use tape. Um, the paper says staples, but I think tape would be easier. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and color our parts. So I'm going to color the hair, the mouth, I'm leaving the teeth white. Or maybe I'll make them yellow. I think I'll make them yellow. Um, oh, and about the teeth, you can use as many or as few as you want. I think I'm only going to use four. I plan on doing it like this. Just to make them silly. Um, but you can put as many teeth as you want. And if they're too big, you can get um, scissors and cut them off. And if you're cutting off the black part, just do the other side. Um, I want mine to be outlined though. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the eyebrows and everything else, um, the bolts. The eyes, um, I'm gonna pretty much leave blank because they're black and white, so. Okay, I finished coloring, I moved all that aside. Um, now I'm gonna carefully open this green bag. Um, you can use a um, regular brown lunch bag if you'd like, and then just paint it. Um, but I found these green bags on Oriental Training, so that's what I did. And then what you're gonna do is take your newspaper or magazine or whatever, and just start to rip these off, stuff them up, and stick them inside, and you'll just do a few of them just to make the bag thick at the bottom. So we'll do that. balls. Right now I have three. Four, maybe two more. I don't know. For me, um, it depends on how tight you do your balls. You might need them bigger or smaller. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to carefully figure that might be too much. Now. Now this will definitely be an adult part. Um, take them, fold them down, and I'm just going to tape it instead of stapling it just because. Tape saver. You don't want too many staples in your stuff. So it just looks like a bunchy little bag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the monster on the front of the bag. With our glue stick and our parts. Um, since the hair is at the top, I figure I'll do that first. I'm going to lay this paper down, just glue on. I could do eyebrows, but I don't think I'm going to. I colored them. I just think, well, I'll put them on. Oops.
probably cold. He's outside all night. I think the mouth will be easier to do if I do it on here first. So I'm going to put my teeth on the mouth first and then put the whole thing together. his little bolts. And you don't want to play with this too soon until they're nice and dry. As the pieces will fall off. That's all you do. to leave it. And that's it.